I'm going to start by sectioning my hair off so that I'm able to moisturize each section of hair and prepare it for my twist. I like to mist my hair with water to soften it up, moisten it, and make it easier to detangle. It may look like I'm spraying a lot of water, but it's actually not that much. I'm now going to use my Antoine Couture Leave-In Conditioner. That's what I'm running my, through my hair now. Detangle it with my Denman brush, and now it's time to twist. I'm not the best at flat twisting. It's taking me a while to learn, but you can see my fingers kind of weaving in and out. This is just how I do it. So once I get my twists in order, I'm doing this part a little bit slower so that if you don't know how to twist, even know where to start, you can kind of see a little bit. There's better tutorials, but this will give you a general idea of how to flat twist. I'm gonna twist all the way down. I know you can't see because my head was facing down. I was using a mirror to twist. Just gonna add my roller at the end there's tissue wrapped around my rollers so because they have the little prickly parts on them so it doesn't snag my hair close it up and that one's done now let me show you one last time I'm putting the leave-in conditioner as well as the cream styler jelly by Antoine Couture detangle with my Denman brush Try to make sure it's all smooth out. And now we can start twisting. I'm going to speed it up on this part since I've already done one slow part twisting. So I'm just flat twisting all the way down. to allow my hair to dry overnight so this is the next morning I'm starting to take all my rollers out I always hold it at the end just so that I'm not pulling any of my hair and you feel me you see me scrunching it because I'm feeling like maybe they're not completely dry which is odd it doesn't typically take my hair this long to dry that is argon oil which is also by Antoine Couture I really really love their line of products I don't know why I'm shaking it up you don't really need to shake it just a couple of drops two drops rub it on my fingers so that I can start and minimize the amount of frizz. I always rub some oil on the ends of my hair. Twist my hair the opposite direction so that it naturally starts to come apart. And then just go ahead and separate. So as I'm separating, I'm feeling and I'm thinking, uh, I don't think these are completely dry. But at this point, I can't twist this back up. It's gonna interrupt the curl pattern. So I pretty much have to take it down. I get up to the top and see how it's much more defined and realize, yep, it's definitely not dry all the way. It's very lightly damp so it's just gonna frizz up that part and there's not a whole lot I can do about it 
So then I'm starting to question myself on the other ones and I'm kind of afraid to take them down. And I decide that I should wait. This is five hours later. I've already started taking them down again with the argan oil on my fingers to help minimize frizz. And for some reason, they're not completely defined like I wanted um, as far as the ends are concerned. The twists themselves I feel like are defined but the ends are not curled around. So I'm going to have to figure that out for the next time I try this style. So now I'm going to go through with my wide tooth comb because I couldn't find my pick and just kind of fluff my roots a little bit to add more volume to my hair. So if you notice, I'm not combing all the way through, just about halfway. And then I'll also separate the twist a little bit more. I'm gonna fluff with my hands now to kind of blend the parts that were in the back. This is just shea butter. Um, it's whipped shea butter with some oils in it. I didn't really want to put any edge control on my hair because I just didn't find it necessary when shea butter does virtually the same thing for me. So you see some pieces that are a little bit frizzy and that's because I interrupted the curl when I took all those rollers out and my hair wasn't completely dry. But I'm just going to get those edges in order as much as possible. This is a really soft brush that I'm using. Fluff it up a little bit more, separate a little bit more, and that'll have to be the style for the next couple of days. So it didn't turn out exactly how I wanted, but I still feel like it's cute. All done. Let me know what you think in the comments section below.